Because Edward was only nine years old when he became king, he couldn't rule on his own. He needed to have a council of men to help him with the business of being a king. One of them was his uncle, that's his mother, Jane's brother, Edward, Edward Seymour, who becomes the Duke of Somerset. And there was another Duke as well, the Duke of Northumberland. Mm. Now, during Edward's reign, he is he's very keen on keeping the Protestant faith, setting up the Church of England, and he continues to do this. Uh, he's a pretty healthy kid, like I said, but uh, at 15, in February of 1553, he gets ill. He gets a fever, he gets shortness of breath, and a pain in his side. By June, he adds vomiting to the list of symptoms. They realize that the king is very ill and is not going to survive. Rumor has it that the Duke of Northumberland made sure to give him enough, made sure that the doctors gave him enough arsenic so that uh, he would be awake enough to sign certain documents, including making the Duke of Northumberland's daughter-in-law his cousin to Edward, Lady Jane Grey, the Queen. 